Dobrý den, je tady čtvrtek a to znamená nové video. Hello, today is Thursday and that means new video. Before I start with the topic, I would also like to say thank you to those who have made a contribution through Buy Me A Coffee and supported my work this way. If you would like to make a contribution as well, you can check the link below the video. My video from last week called What to expect from the preposition na was packed with a lot of information. In case you missed this video, you can watch it here. And I would like to follow up with a second part where I'll be focusing my attention on the practical part. I'll give you more examples and I will be speaking about less grammar. Last week I also mentioned that besides understanding the grammar where to use na, with locative or accusative, you can simply memorize the phrases, create a memory bank, your database in your brain, just like if you were a small child and you would be learning by repetition. Let's start. These sentences are going to be talking about location using locative case. And I will say no more about grammar. Sem na zahradě. I'm in the garden. Zahrada. That's our base form, nominative. If you feel like it, you can repeat after me. Sem na zahradě. Sem na zahradě. Sem na zahradě. I'm in the garden. Na zahradě. In the garden. Let's use the same exact beginning and use the word chata, the cottage in it. Sem na chatě. Again, you can repeat it after me. Sem na chatě. Sem na chatě. I'm at the cottage. Střecha. Střecha means a roof. Let's say I'm on the roof. Proč ne? Why not? Sem na střeše. Na střeše. Sem na střeše. Pošta. Post office. Sem na poště. Sem na poště. Sem na poště. I'm in the post office. Gauč, a sofa, just like my video sessions Čeština na gauči. Na gauči is on the sofa. Sem na gauči. Sem na gauči. I'm on the sofa. Letiště, an airport. Sem na letišti. Sem na letišti. I'm at the airport. A poslední, the last one, nádraží, station. Sem na nádraží. Na nádraží. It's exactly the same. I'm at the station. Sem na nádraží. Let's change it a little bit. This was about me being somewhere. Imagine you want to describe where the cat is. And because I also want to change the verb, I want to say where the cat is waiting. So, cat is kočka. Wait is čekat. Kočka čeká. Kočka čeká na zahradě. The cat's waiting in the garden. Let's do a little practice exercise. I'm going to keep this part for you, but I'm going to cover this. Kde čeká kočka? Where is the cat waiting? Kočka čeká. The cat's waiting in the garden. Kočka čeká na zahradě. Kočka čeká na chatě. Kočka čeká na střeše. Kočka čeká na poště. The cat's waiting at the post office, of course. <laughs> Proč ne? Kočka čeká na gauči. Kočka čeká na letišti. Kočka čeká na nádraží. And let's play with this a little bit more. Let's think of an adjective, which uh, we could use for describing these locations. I want to say, I am in a beautiful garden. Sem na krásné zahradě. Sem na krásné zahradě. I'm in a beautiful garden. Here I want to say the cat's waiting at our cottage. Our is naše and na naší chatě. Kočka čeká na naší chatě. The cat is waiting at our cottage. That's a pronoun, it's not an adjective, but I'm sure you will forgive me. 
Now I want to say the cat is waiting on an old roof. Kočka čeká na staré střeše. Kočka čeká na staré střeše. I'm in the new post office. Jsem na nové poště. Jsem na nové poště. The cat's waiting on a comfortable sofa. Comfortable is pohodlný. Kočka čeká na pohodlném. Pohodlném. Kočka čeká na pohodlném gauči. Here I want to say I'm waiting at Prague's airport using an adjective. That would be pražský. Jsem na pražském. Jsem na pražském letišti. Jsem na pražském letišti. Čekám na pražském letišti. I'm waiting at Prague's airport. And here let's say I am at a train station. Train as an adjective would be vlakový, vlakové. Na vlakovém nádraží. Jsem na vlakovém nádraží. Let's see more example sentences. We are going to have a look at several phrases where we speak about an event. Still using locative case and na. Sejdeme se na koncertě. Using the word koncert, a concert. Sejdeme se, we will meet. We will get together. Sejdeme se na koncertě. Next we are going to work with the word výlet. A trip. How could we say we are going to meet on a trip? Sejdeme se na výletě. Na výletě. Sejdeme se na výletě. We are going to meet on a trip. Výstava. It's an exhibition. We're going to meet at an exhibition. Sejdeme se na výstavě. Sejdeme se na výstavě. Snídaně. It's breakfast. Sejdeme se na snídaní. Snídaní. Sejdeme se na snídaní. Oběd. It's lunch. Sejdeme se na obědě. Na obědě. Sejdeme se na obědě. Opakujte po mně. You can pause the video and repeat after each sentence. Sejdeme se na koncertě. Pause the video and repeat. Sejdeme se na výletě. Sejdeme se na výstavě. Sejdeme se na snídani. Sejdeme se na obědě. So if somebody asks you, kde se sejdeme, it means where are we meeting. Kde se sejdeme? Where are we meeting? Or where will we meet? Kde se sejdeme? Sejdeme se na výletě. Let's think of an alternative. Instead of saying we are meeting, let's say we will discuss it somewhere else. If you want to say to discuss in Czech, there are several ways, but here I want to use the verb probrat. Probrat? Probrat něco. It means to discuss, to really go through a topic. And it's very handy. So somebody wants to talk about a topic and you don't have time. You want to discuss this later. So you want to tell your friend or a colleague that you will want to discuss this at such and such event. So you would say probereme to. We will discuss that. Probereme to. Probereme to na koncertě. We will discuss it at the concert. Let's do it the same way like we did with the cat. I'll cover the second part of the sentence and then you will tell me what's missing. Remember, we are going to work with this part. Probereme to. We will discuss this. How do you say we will discuss it at a concert? Probereme to na koncertě. Probereme to na koncertě. We will discuss it on a trip. Probereme to na výletě. Probereme to na výletě. We'll discuss it at an exhibition. Probereme to na výstavě. Probereme to na výstavě. We will discuss it at the breakfast. Probereme to na snídani. Probereme to na snídani. And the last part, we will discuss it at lunch. Probereme to na obědě.
probereme to na obědě. By the way, here it's also common to say u snídaně a u oběda. That would take a different case, genitive case. In case you heard somebody saying u snídaně, u oběda, it's just a different way of saying it, but it means exactly the same. So it's possible to say u snídaně, u snídaně, u oběda. But this is not what we are discussing here. And last part we are going to do, we will add a pronoun here. Uh, it's always very common to be referring to some uh, event or a place and using the or that. Oh, we will discuss it at that concert we're going to. So we will be using the pronoun ten, ta and to, depending on the gender. We will meet at that concert we spoke about. Sejdeme se na tom koncertě. You're saying goodbye to a friend and you say, ah, you know, I'll see you very soon because we're meeting at that concert, remember? Sejdeme se na tom koncertě. We will discuss it at that trip we're going to. Probereme to na tom výletě. Probereme to na tom výletě. We will meet at that exhibition. Sejdeme se na té výstavě. Na té výstavě. Sejdeme se na té výstavě. We will discuss it at that breakfast that we are planning for tomorrow. Probereme to na té snídani. Probereme to na té snídani. And the last one, we will discuss it at that lunch. Probereme to na tom obědě. Probereme to na tom obědě. Okay, and this is all for now. Next week we are going to have a look at more examples with na and accusative case in a very similar way. If you have any comments or ideas you would like to share it with me and the other subscribers, do not hesitate to write a comment below. Mějte se krásně a uvidíme se brzy. Ahoj! Do you enjoy my videos on YouTube? You can support my work on Buy Me a Coffee. Click on the link below the video and make a one-time donation for a price of one tea or as many teas as you wish.